So unfortunately, the watt cycle batteries are finally having issues. They were supposed to be the good ones, all right? For months, I was reviewing garbage after garbage battery, and then the watt cycle was the only one with overcurrent protection, good build quality, good cells, good capacity test results, and now they're having major issues. But these issues are only for the smart, smart version, you guys. The old dumb ones actually work great but the ones with the Bluetooth and if it says smart on the front is having major problems. Now the issue that these are having is very strange and I've never seen it before in any other batteries. If I were to connect this battery to a second 12 volt battery in parallel, and then I charge both of the batteries up to 100%, and then I add a load, this one will not support the load. It disconnects itself from everything else and the other battery will keep discharging. And it will discharge so low that I can get them down to 30% state of charge. And then this one will turn on and start dumping current into the second battery. And I was able to recreate this issue every single time I tried. Every time I charged this up to 100%, it would disconnect itself. So the first time I charged up the batteries to 100%, and then I added a 10 amp load. And the second battery went down to 30% state of charge, and then this was waking up. And then for the second test, I put a 20 amp load on both batteries, and the second battery went down to 27.9% state of charge, and then this thing woke up. And then for the last test, I did a 40 amp load on both batteries, and the second battery went down to only 71% state of charge, and then this one woke up. If you use any amperage over 50 amps, they're saying that it will wake this up faster but not all the time, and that's not what some people are reporting. Some people are saying that over 100 amps, it will turn on and off, and there's a guy with like 100 screenshots proving it. So it's a major issue, and it happens all the time. It's not sometimes, it's every time. Now, not only are you gonna have current sharing issues because all the batteries are out of balance, but you're also setting yourself up for a situation where you have such a massive voltage differential that the amount of current that can flow into the other battery can be problematic. If you have a fuse or a breaker, it might trip it. Next, the app is having some issues. Right here, it says it's drawing 1.9 amps, but up here, it says it's charging at 100%. See, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And other people are experiencing other issues, which is, again, not very smart. <laughs> So if you ordered one of these, I would cancel it or I would try to get a refund. They said they're gonna have a solution at the end of September and they said it wasn't a problem at first and then they said they had a solution for their not a problem. So a lot of these companies, when they say one month to make a solution for software, it usually takes three months, like the Epoch batteries. So yeah, I'm not waiting on this. I would not order this and I would not buy from WattCycle until they sort this out and we actually get some proof that it's actually working. Because this is not acceptable for a solar power system having to disconnect itself from the rest of the battery bank. Just that rush of current is actually a safety issue. It should not be working like that. That's not okay. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm hoping we get a solution and then we can do a teardown and a review. They actually told me that they were gonna pay me to review View this until they found this issue and then they said no we're not gonna pay you your video fee so if they want me to review anything else in the future I'm gonna double or triple the video fee for them specifically because that is not fair they said they were gonna pay me and then once I find an issue they're not that's not cool all these companies love me until I find a problem and then they completely switch on me so I hate that Anyways, I hope you liked the video. I would avoid all of the new ones. The old ones are still good, but considering how they've treated me now, I have a bad taste in my mouth with Watt Cycle. But the old 12 volt 100 amp hours were good. If you're trying to get a large form factor 12 volt battery without the smart features, I would go with the lead time. Those are solid and they work. But yeah, the Watt Cycle, I would avoid for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.